Life is a big school. We all have to learn. Artemis was the daughter of Zeus and Leto, born on the island of Delos. From a young age, she showed a great interest in hunting and archery, which became her signature skills. She was also known for her beauty and grace, as well as her fierce independence. As Artemis grew older, she became the leader of a group of nymphs and a powerful goddess in her own right. She was revered by hunters who saw her as their patron goddess and by young girls who looked up to her as a symbol of purity and virginity. But Artemis was also known for her fierce temper, and she could be cruel to those who crossed her. One of the most famous stories about Artemis is the one involving the hunter Actaeon. Actaeon was a skilled hunter who lived in the kingdom of Boeotia. One day, while he was out hunting in the woods, he stumbled upon a crystal-clear stream where Artemis, the goddess of the hunt and the moon, was bathing with her attendants. The sight of the beautiful and naked goddess astonished Actaeon, and he stood transfixed, unable to move or speak. Artemis, however, was furious at Actaeon's intrusion and saw it as a violation of her sacred space. She immediately called out to her attendants to cover her body, but it was too late. She decided to teach Actaeon a lesson he would never forget. She raised her hand and cursed him, transforming him into a deer on the spot. At first, Actaeon was delighted with his newfound agility and speed, but he soon realized the terrible mistake he had made. His own hunting dogs, who did not recognize him in his new form, caught sight of him and began to chase him down. Actaeon tried to escape, but he was no match for his own beloved hounds, who were now hunting him down with the same skill and ferocity that he had once used to hunt them. As Actaeon ran for his life, he could hear the baying of his dogs growing closer and closer. He tried to plead with them, but it was no use. They were in a frenzy of bloodlust and would not be satisfied until they had caught and killed their prey. Finally, the dogs caught up with Actaeon and tore him to pieces, not realizing that they had killed their own master. When Artemis heard of what had happened, she was saddened by the tragic outcome of her curse, but she knew that Actaeon had brought it upon himself by daring to invade her sacred space. The story of Actaeon and Artemis has become a cautionary tale about the dangers of overstepping boundaries and the consequences of tempting fate. It also underscores the power and wrath of the goddess of the hunt, who would brook no interference in her sacred domain. Another story involves the nymph Callisto, who was one of Artemis's companions. Callisto was a beautiful nymph and a devoted follower of Artemis, the goddess of the hunt and the moon. She was one of Artemis's closest companions and a skilled huntress in her own right. However, her fate would take a tragic turn when she caught the eye of Zeus, the king of the gods. One day, while Callisto was out hunting in the woods, Zeus appeared to her in the guise of Artemis's deer. Thinking that it was her beloved goddess's deer, Callisto allowed Zeus to approach her. However, Zeus quickly revealed his true identity and raped Callisto, leaving her pregnant with his child. When Artemis learned of what had happened, she was outraged. She saw Callisto as impure and no longer fit to be a part of her company. She banished Callisto from her side and forbade her from ever again setting foot in the sacred groves where Artemis and her companions gathered. Callisto, now alone and pregnant, wandered through the forest in a daze. Eventually, her condition became known to Hera, Zeus's wife, who was furious at her husband's infidelity. In her anger, Hera transformed Callisto into a bear, leaving her to roam the woods in her new animal form. Callisto spent years as a bear, living among the wild animals and struggling to survive. She longed to return to her former life as a nymph and be reunited with Artemis, but she knew that it was impossible. Eventually, her son Arcus, fathered by Zeus, came across her in the woods while he was out hunting. Not recognizing his own mother in her animal form, he raised his bow to shoot her. However, Zeus intervened at the last moment, preventing Arcus from harming his own mother. He then transformed Callisto back into her human form, and she was reunited with her son. 
Though she was no longer a part of Artemis's company, Callisto was grateful to be back in her own form and to have her son by her side. The story of Callisto and Artemis is a tragic one, showing the dangers of the gods' capriciousness and the harsh punishments that could be inflicted on those who dared to cross them. It also highlights the complexities of female relationships in Greek mythology, where women were often pitted against each other by the gods and punished for their own desires and actions. Despite her sometimes cruel nature, Artemis was a powerful and respected goddess, and her cult was widespread throughout Greece. She was often depicted as a young girl carrying a bow and arrow, and her worship was closely tied to that of her twin brother Apollo. In fact, Artemis and Apollo shared many traits, including a love of music and a talent for prophecy. But while Apollo was associated with the sun and light, Artemis was associated with the moon and darkness. This made her a mysterious and elusive figure, which only added to her allure. Artemis was also closely associated with nature and the wilderness, which is why she was often depicted wearing animal skins and surrounded by wild animals. She was a fierce protector of the natural world, and she was often called upon to bring rain and fertility to the land. In conclusion, Artemis was a complex and fascinating figure in Greek mythology. Her strength, independence, and love of the natural world made her a powerful symbol for women and hunters alike. While she could be fierce and even cruel at times, she was also a respected goddess and a source of inspiration for many.